Hello everyone and welcome back to Travel with Brian. Today we'll be continuing our adventure at Hogwarts, so let's go. Alright, just getting the game loaded, and if I remember where we last left off, he just finished his charms lesson, and I'm honestly not sure what the next step is, but he at least learned Accio, and uh, if I remember from that first, uh, the first one with Defense Against the Dark Arts, I want to say you learned, uh, it was Levioso, which I always thought was Guardian Leviosa, or Saw, if you're Hermione, but um, yeah, apparently it's just Levioso, maybe the magic changed. But let's Hello. see what's going on. How was your first day coming along? Oh, she's the one that was obsessed with plants. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say that's kind of you to say because he actually did not do well in that whole like ball rolling challenge. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Okay, so she pretty much just said, oh, he got lucky, that's it. So I'm gonna go see what this whole treasure chest thing is here, which, uh... I'm not sure what that is. Revelio. Something dinged over here. Um... Let's see this. I wonder if it's like these this writing on the wall, which is kind of creepy, but eh, I'm not sure. I'm going to go uh, see what this mission over there is. I wonder if that's the whole, like, uh, challenge to go to Hogsmeade that uh, Mrs. Weasley was talking about before. Maybe I could see I've what these... said that travel broadens the mind. So these, like, weird statue things just talk to you? Alright, I think- let me try out to see what these flu flame things are, because she explained it. I don't really- I know they're for traveling around the castle, but I'm not really sure where. Great Hall, does that have any? Nope. Um... This looks like that's where I'm going for, uh... Let's see if I can do this. Set waypoint. Or if I can just hit X, travel. Oh, okay, I think I figured this out. You just- Go up to one of the flu flame things, you load the map, and then you click on another flu flame thing, whatever you call it, in the spot you're trying to go to. And then I think it just whisks you away to that. So, uh, from where the next uh, mission, or whatever they call it on this game, then wherever the next one is on, uh, on the map, it just looks like to the nearest one to it. Yeah, because it's defense against the dark arts. Um, let's see. Is there another... It's shown that there's a treasure thing here. Let's see. Rebellio. There's something on the other side there. I'm just gonna go kind of explore this stuff, just see what's going on. Oh, it's a flu flame thing. Adventure, are we? Okay, I don't know where it went, but uh. Yeah, I'm kind of lost about what I'm, what this whole mission thing is. Can I get in here? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a bathroom. Yay. Okay, apparently it's not in the bathroom. Um, it's saying it's right over here. Rebellio. That's how I feel about this. Okay, we're just gonna disregard that and just try to head out to this uh, mission uh, over there, which looks like it's in this courtyard. So I'm assuming I have to go down to get there. Excuse me. Oh, those incidents are just kind of playing on their own. Rebellion. I saw something on the wall there. Oh, it's behind them. Um, so I'm still kind of confused about where I'm actually trying to go. Um, do I have to go down more? Is there anything in here? Alright, so I'm out on this courtyard again. That guy's carrying a lot of stuff. Rebellion. 
All right, I'm honestly not sure what these, uh... Oh, it's a cat. Let's say hi to the cat here. See if there's some secret, or maybe he just really wants to pet the cat. See, that cat seems overly friendly. Like, I feel like most cats would just run away, but it's probably because it's actually an Animagus. So he probably just, like, pet Professor McGonagall or something if she was around. Okay, so it's on the other side of the... Oh, wait, here we go. Begin here. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, Dobby's still better than Deke. There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. Yes, they I went very as much well. From Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told to me. To Brian travels? Isn't there? Uh, I must say, put him on the Professor spot. Have you Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Reticent? Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. I have no idea what any of that just meant. You continue to build upon what you've learned. A In sonnet from regard, a streela. I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Yay, more homework. That's exactly my response. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments. Should professor. be like, well, big you time. Find the time. Exactly, call it. <laughs> You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your yeah, classes see, I'm gonna, well with a I'm gonna blame wand, the failure of that stupid ball rolling game on the fact that this wand isn't mine. To be far superior. Oh, exactly what she's saying. Uh... I don't know what a spellcraft is. I've never is. heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. All right. Uh, I mean, Ollivander's, I'm assuming, is probably the same guy as there is in Diagon Alley. Potion shop seems pretty straightforward. I think I'm good. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. So, here's the thing. I actually watched a few YouTube videos, and apparently if you want to learn more of, like, the kind of dark arts of, uh, of magic, you gotta kind of follow Sebastian more. So, I'm not trying to be a bad wizard, per se, but... I'm gonna follow Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. I don't necessarily want to be a bad well wizard, but learning the dark art spells, I kind of, I kind of want to learn. A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. <coughs> Excuse me. So I always thought, like, the trips to Hogsmeade were just, like, a separate, like, weekend thing that you can just go when you want, like they're doing now, but apparently it might be different in, you know, modern Hogwarts. Oh, yeah, I can talk to Professor Ronan, who... Oh, I thought that was him. That's, like, in the fountain. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. 
As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. So I'm doing tasks in order to learn it, so... Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I feel like he's probably gonna, like, want me to get some parts that I'm then gonna use Repero for. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay, so, collect the flying page and a broken statue. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Oh, I'm gonna have to Accio it, I'm guessing. There we go. Accio. There we go. Exactly, I knew I'm gonna have to Accio it, because that's what he taught the first time. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Mm. Oh, wait, up there. Uh... Accio. Brilliant. Like how he just snags the book and catches it. Like, just like a badass. Oops. I don't know why I just did that. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. All right, let's see what we need to do for Repero, because it's a conduit of my magic. Oops, I hit the wrong one. Hopefully that doesn't, like, ruin my ability to do the charm, because I actually hit B instead of A on that side one. Apparently not. Accio. Whoops, I didn't mean to Accio. So I can just fix things up like magic, That's it. because Very magic. Good. If you would like to practice building something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. So, did he just break the statue himself? Because I can't really see Hogwarts just leaving broken statues around. So where am I going here? Like, Hogwarts doesn't seem like the place that would just leave broken statues around. Where am I going here? So, like, unless he just broke it for this assignment, but... I don't think that's the way I'm supposed to go. He said by the alcove. I'm honestly not quite sure what an alcove is, to be honest. Can't I go outside? Okay, there we go. I know, like, an alcove is like a walkway, kind of. But just an interesting way of wording it. So, where exactly is that? It's back this way somewhere. Okay, let's just go inside here and then hopefully find it. Oh, it has to, like, load it. That's why it's taking forever. Alright, where's the broken statue symbolizing heartbreak? Apparently uh, married me with having a bit of a poetry. And we wait for this. There we go. So this looks like the library. Um, it is the library. Cool. Now, where's the alcove that he's talking about? You know, I'm just gonna flu flame back out there and figure it out, cause... Revelio. Okay, well, I got a field guide page, cool. Alright, let's go back out to the Transfiguration Courtyard.
Um, whoops, I'm not sure what I did there. All right, let's just try to retrace my steps because I'm really lost on how these flu flame things work. I'll figure it out eventually, but uh, right now I'm just trying to repair that statue for Professor Ronan. Or I'm supposed to meet Sebastian near the entrance. I'm not sure what I'm doing. You know what? I'll deal with that uh, Reveli or Reparo stuff in a little bit. And just waiting. There we go. Actually, I should do one task at a time. So let me go back and try to find where that... Okay, the library annex. That was in, like, the, I want to say Transfiguration Courtyard, I think. Um. Central Hall. Okay, that. You know, let's just go there. Whoops. I really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Um... Okay, I'll just travel there. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of lost. I was just looking for that statue that he wanted me to repair, and uh, now I'm suddenly lost in the library, and apparently I'm going to meet Sebastian out at the courtyard now. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, Professor Ronan's statue is going to have to be replaced at a later time. Um, so, I guess that's a good... Uh, Good description just of how vast this game is that, you know, when you're just trying to find one task, you get lost because everything's so huge. This looks exactly like where it was before, so I think I just meant to go here anyway. Okay, I guess we have to wait for these doors. Must be like a loading thing. <coughs> Excuse me. I really have made a mess of things. Okay, so I see one of them's back that way. I wonder if that's where I'm going. But I'm just going to follow the dots and go where I'm supposed to go. I'm sure I'll repair that statue with Professor Ronan at a later date. Is that statue? Or it's a suit of armor humming, yep. Alright, there's Sebastian. Sorry, Professor Ronan. Got more well, important things to do. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm my told you're in charge. dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Yes, we shall. And now we're going to venture to Hogsmeade. And let's get another loading screen with this. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty interested to see how Hogsmeade actually looks. Just because, uh, you know, the movies, they only show, uh, you know, a few um, shops. They'll have, like, you know, the place where... The place where he found out Sirius Black, you know, he thought killed his parents in the third one. Oh, wow. Plus, like, a few of the, you know, local shops around and everything. So it'll be nice to actually be able to explore it. I think that's going to be really cool. Oh, look, the Quidditch pitch is over there. I was glad just want to take a... Mr. Weasley asked me to join you today. One second, Sebastian. I just want to... As am I. Thank you, by the way. I just kind of wanted to look around here. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. I just kind of want to take a look around for a bit. Alright. I guess we're racing. I'm gonna try to run past him. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's not nice. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. 
Like I said, it's from what I found Spend out. Um, I believe you learn more of the Justin dark arts if you follow no Sebastian. Rounded. So when he's mentioning his detention record, I'm assuming he's been up to things that aren't so good. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Accio. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Yeah, so what I was saying there, I kind of stumbled on my words, but so how did you manage to I learned that he's the way that you can, um... Actually, let's well, see what this is. I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. <coughs> she thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an Accio spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion radiant. So as I was saying, is like I learned that he's the one that you can follow if you want to learn some more of the dark arts. So uh, yeah, I'm a little more inclined to do that just because uh, even though I don't want my guy to be a bad. Forbidden Forest, look. What's in the Forbidden Forest? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? Akio, certainly don't see that every day. Uh, what those birds or magical creatures, whatever they are. But yeah, I was saying, I don't want my guy to be a bad wizard. I just want to learn the, you know, dark arts. So we'll see where this goes, but I'm sure there's uh, other people that are... Arthur Plumley. Absolutely. Likely already named them, too. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. Hey, it's forbidden, but there's flu flames to go there, dangerous. so... I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. But I was saying, I think there's other, like, people you follow as well. Because I know there's a bunch of different, like, conjoining sure plot lines. And, and so listen, you can, I'm sure you can learn much more, like, you know, good magic through other people. That. But I'm going to follow Sebastian in the meantime. The surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Huh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Oh, I can see the Thestrals there. One day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Are you there yet? I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. I thought no one knew about the dragon attack, so that shows that clearly Sebastian's up to something not so good, because everything else has been so, uh, you know, concealed, where you can't even tell Mr. Professor Moon. Weasley. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. This guy seems a bit nicer works, than, uh, what's his oh, name? Right Mr. Filch. Me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Thank you, Mr. Moon. Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. So something's gonna I've happen when we're on the way to Hogsmeade, I'm calling it. I don't know what that was, but... Oh, Moonstone, cool. I saw these... Let me see. I'm not sure what Moonstone is, but I'm sure it'll become pop, like, valuable Mr. later. Is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. So, I'm assuming oh, Moonstone becomes uh, pretty valuable later. She or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Oh, here's Hogsmeade. Cool. This is incredible, though. Just, like, having, like, this whole, you know, thing as an open world. Like, this actually is really cool. So it's like the town square of Hogsmeade. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, 
I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh, cool. Sir Ridwin's Precarious Cauldrons. Cool. Did you say goblins so and people like socializing? Weasley? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. <laughs> oh wow, so you have the whole map as well of Hogsmeade? That's pretty cool. What's this whole uh, world map of- oh wait, um... Okay, so I don't mean to hit that. Um, so I need to visit Tomes and Scrolls, Ollivanders, J. Pippins, and the Magic Neep. No idea what the Magic Neep is. I just want to take a look at this here. So we have this Hogwarts map. Okay, so that's the backs of Castle, Hogsmeade, and then world map. Oh, wow. So you have this whole, like, area here. That's really cool. This is even more open world than I thought. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, down the road where you can go in the rest of the world as well. But Hogsmeade, I'm excited to check out now, too. So let's go to Ollivander's first, just because I really want to get the wand. That's I'm assuming right here. So I'm going to guess this is like Grand Theft Auto, where when you select it, it tells you where to go. Yep. Mm hmm. All right, let's get my wand. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. I was acting like when I, it was Harry Potter, and he's like, I wondered when I get uh, you your sir. wand, I'm Mr. Potter. For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year <laughs> student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. Glad well, this guy uh, toots his family's to horn there. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, yes, no, we shall. No, no, not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. This part you actually have no control over. It just kind of... Uh, well, maybe I'll do something here. Swish. Nope, I didn't do anything here. Hmm. I'm just controllers oh, here. Uh, once more, come on. Really swish it. Guess that one's a no. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, I guess it's not. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. So do you just like slay the dragon and take its heart string? Is that where you get that? Or... Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Yeah, get back uh, on the shelf. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. It's always third time's the charm, just like from uh, when Harry got his in the yes. Sorcerer's Stone. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. This is going to be the one. Oh, you get to make it yourself. I did not know that. That's cool. 
Um, alright, let's see. One style. Curious so, indeed. That's a weird one. Okay, let's see what the options are. So, notched warm brown. Classic gray. I kind of like that one, but, How uh... intriguing. Soft spiral. That one's weird looking. It looks just like a stick. Honey brown. I kind of like that one. Ring dark brown. That one's pretty cool, too. Curious I'm kind of liking all these. It's going to be hard to decide. I kind of like, a. Uh, that one there, it looks kind of like the Elder Wand, but what are these other, uh, colors? How intriguing. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking that one, but what's this? Curious indeed. What's this one here? Eh, I'm gonna go with, uh... That one and the dark brown I like. What are these other options here? Wood type, black walnut. Uh, let's see what all these are. I don't want to take too much time doing How this. Intriguing. This guy gonna comment on everything. Curious indeed. Uh, I don't know. Like any of these are. Let's do redwood. How intriguing. This guy gonna comment on everything. Let's make it like, I don't know, like a foot long sounds good. Let's do 12 and a half. Curious indeed. 12 and a half sounds like a good, uh, you know. Flexibility. I don't know, we'll Not do in the middle. Intriguing. Let's do solid. Or what are these options down here? Just gonna check. Swishy, surprisingly. Supple. I really don't know what this is going to do, so let's just do a whippy flexibility. That sounds just like an average one, I guess. Oh, wow. Phoenix Heather. Phoenix Feather, I should say, not Heather. Unicorn Hair or Dragon Heartstring. Powerful, consistent, or great range. I'm going to do that one, because that definitely sounds ah, like... Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. That sounds like the best of both worlds with it, so, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's get this wand. What do you think? Extraordinary. I guess it works. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Ha ha ha. Ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. I'm and eager to. And the feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Thank you, Mr. Ollivander. I definitely shall. Let's search this chest. Oh, cool. Wiganweld potion. Just stealing that from Mr. Ollivander. Alright, testing out this new wand. Just hit them with it. Can I Akia them? Akia. <laughs> Alright, so where are we going next? Uh, let's go to the map. So Tomes and Scrolls, or the Potions Place. Or the Magic Neep. Uh, Broden Peck. A hairdressing salon. The Pippin's Potions Place, and it was one of them, so let's go there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I keep seeing these, like, level whatever locks. I'm assuming you have to get to a certain amount of uh, skill to actually unlock them. So probably down the road, I'm assuming you get to go into those places. Take that, Hogsmeade. I have a new powerful wand. Ooh. 
Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lavang. Not that she did to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have really done the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. This guy seems very, uh, excited about potions. Like, Snape, if he wasn't just a dick. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she's in the Alabama. Even though Snape wasn't really that po passionate about potions, he just kind of did it as, you know, his job. If anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art of potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. Yeah, they all may right. not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. I'll try not to but miss out on anything. Let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? All right, so it looks like I need to buy all these ones. Or these ones aren't available, actually. But you can buy these ones, which are still unavailable. That's that's what I'm assuming is eventually you'll have to stop in here to buy things for it. Not actually sure how you get money, but let's just get these ones that. Apparently, I'm supposed to get for Professor Weasley. To take a look at the rest of my oh, now these are available, or but I definitely don't have the money for it. In a rush today. Oh, so these ones, apparently I only have like 50 galleons or whatever their money is, because you can see that one's green. This one's red, so I'm assuming if I try to get this, it's going to... Yeah, exactly. I don't really know what I need to do with Hork Lump Juice. Oh, it's something with Wigan Weld Potion, but I'm going to disregard that for now, because I really don't see a need for that. Oh, cool. I have the recipe, too. I don't want you have to buy that when you're at a magic school that's supposed to teach you these things. Like, isn't that kind of what the whole, like, job of a potions professor is? But, I don't know. It's another plot line. <laughs> Alright, so there's the magic neep and something... What was the other one? Uh, Tomes and scrolls. That's it. <coughs> Um, alright, run this way. Like I said, as I mean, I'm still kind of just amazed about how, like, incredible this design is. I see something lighting up there. No, never mind. I thought those, uh, I thought those, uh, ball things up there were... were lighting up like I can get them. Like I was saying, though, just, like, the fact that you're able to just kind of go in this open-world Hogsmeade, plus more to the magic world, is really incredible. Is this guy a bookkeeper, or what is his job? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for spellcraft, Professor Wilson. Yeah, or spellcrafter. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. Oh, so it's Matilda Weasley. That's her name. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you're doing this soon enough. It is the magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you would soon impress even Professor Weasley. So she hard to impress then? I look forward to that day. And I too see it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique night sights like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you see A potting table and a potion station. Yes, yes. I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like me. So. Throw your own ingredients and throw what you want. I was assuming this was like a bookshop or something, but apparently I'm buying some potion ingredients. Uh. I still don't quite get what a spellcraft is. This guy's really staring you down right now. 
Um, I'm assuming it's like that other ones where I purchase these two things that are included. If this guy. This guy's like really staring into your soul while you're deciding. <laughs> like, are you gonna buy something or not? Eh, I'm just seeing what. So we just have like the ability to build all these things. That's kind of cool. We'll take a look at that later once we have more money. Thank you, Mr. Brown. I look forward to buying more and having you stare me down while I'm buying it, too. And we just need to go to the Magic and Neep. There we go. Fresh produce, seeds, and fertilizer. As Uric the Oddball, is that what that random person said? West Hogsmeade. Oh, I saw... I saw one of those pages there. Let's just go a little off the beaten path. Oh. There we go. There's something down here, too. Oh, there we go. So what, what can I do with this? So what exactly is this thing? Uh, alright, let's try... Alright, I give up. I don't know what I'm doing with that thing. It's got some weird eye thing. Maybe that's a spell I learned down the road, but... Let's go see what the magic neep is. Oh, hello there! So is this guy like a magic farmer, it looks like? That sounds splendid. And this guy's gonna stare you down too. I guess they all just like really are gonna stare at you until you buy something. Look at the Ditney seeds. Flaxwood, or fluxwood, not grass. Mallow sweet, shrivel fig, uh, fertilizer, Ditney. Cool. Okay, we got a lot of things here. All right, thank you, Timothy. Guess we're gonna go meet Sebastian. Hopefully, we can get that butter beer at the three uh, three broomsticks. Oops, I don't know what I just did. Let's see if there's anything we can revelio over here. There's that one chest that couldn't open before. I'm sure I'll figure out down the road what to do with that. What's that over there? Oh, it's one of those flu flame things. Well, it's cool we can just use that magical transport out here then, because I really don't feel like doing that walk again. <laughs> Although, I'm definitely gonna be going to Hogsmeade more, I know. Um... What's this place? Zonko's! Ah, eh, Sebastian can wait, I wanna check out Zonko's. Oh, I don't know what that thing did. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's like an evil jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> I still think Fred and Weasley's, uh, or Fred and George, I should say, their, uh, joke shop is better, but Zonko seems interesting.
There he is. Alright, time to go to the three broomsticks. Whoops, I went right past him. I officially have all of my supplies. Officially. Excellent. Did, did you get what you needed, Saint Sister? I, I did. I suppose I was the world as our sister now. Let's, let's see, see what else, else we can get something to. That sounds like something bad's gonna happen. Oh, right on cue. <laughs> Oh, they're just like, maybe that's a thing that that uh, caretaker guy was freaking out about. Time to put my new wand to the test. There's like the greatest magic school ever nearby, and basically these guys are just stuck, you know, trying to fight this giant thing. Okay, I guess it's just the two of us, even though it's literally the greatest magic school ever right there. Well, I definitely didn't dodge in time. Oh, my. I'm not hitting these in time. Try to. Leviosa doesn't do anything for him. I thought that was like the greatest charm that uh, Professor uh, Hecate said we need to use. I guess I'm just dodging, you know. What's it that Ron said in the Sorcerer's Stone? Trolls are really stupid. Yeah, you lumbering lout. Alright. Oh, I don't know what ancient magic is. Oh yeah, it's just... Oh wow. He is gone for good. I guess I do have that uh, skill that they were talking about. Goodness. A second troll. Did, did you two take on a fully grown troll? Like by yourselves? I mean, you kind of left us too. So. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin, be beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I say help is a bit of an understatement. A nerve like that. The, the makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Again, we take on this whole troll and we still have to help you, you know... Put things back. Oh, and you just disappear. Great. Um, I guess this is where Reparo comes into play. Reparo. Oh, Lucky that you think Go and see what you want. Oh, what's this guy doing? I wanna... Or is just he talking to him? This guy doing anything? All right, I guess that guy doesn't do anything. It looks like he's trying to say something, but never mind. I guess I'll go repair the damage after playing the the troll or whatever it's called. Like how they we have to fight off this dragon or this troll thing, and then they still ask us to clean up. Like you know, oh, we didn't do enough already. I guess that's what magic's for. That's what magic's for. Well, I guess even though uh, I didn't get a chance to do uh, Professor Ronin's, uh, you know, side quest, I can still uh, use your payroll pretty well. For Officer Singer to worry about. Um. All right. More to fix up here. Um. 
Oh, yeah. Repair her. So, more around. I can repair a whole building. That's that one he smashed through when doing, like, the whole Kool-Aid Man thing. All right, one more thing to repair down here, it looks like. Um... Where is it? What's the other thing I'm trying to repair? Down this way... I think somewhere over... Oh wait, oh that there. That's the uh, fountain thing. Repair it. Yeah, you're welcome, Hogsmeade. Not only do I save your village, I also fixed it up, too. Alright, now... Oh, now I can Mr. talk Hill to this guy. Singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill. Clothier extraordinaire. Still to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. Yeah, I'll I get a choice. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Sure, I'll take robes. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I guess, uh, just traditional school robe is that one. I guess that's all I can get right now. Can I upgrade it at all? Alright, let me look at the gear screen here. Oh, cool! I can give my guy different things. It's like the same one. What else can I buy here? A pinstripe scarf, a Cobalt Dubonair Ensemble. Yeah, oh yeah, I was trying to see the price on these, and they're all like 300 plus. Yeah, I can't afford any of these, but thank you for the one, uh, you know, the one basic robe there, Mr. Uh, Hill, whatever your name I'd is. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. I'd Perfect. agree with you too. The three broomsticks is just this way. This guy's still talking, guys. We're just kind of walking away. All right, three broomsticks. Let's run so we can race. Oh, it's not letting me run. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. So is this three broomsticks here, or is some other troll going to attack us? Oh, that was that guy from, uh, the first scene. Oh, there's the evil goblin. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. Nice teeth. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? Something's gonna happen here. This goblin's gonna like attack to him. Know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> yeah, they saw us, you know, spying on them. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin? They looked doing right at Victor you. Rookwood. Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. 
quickly. Let's get inside the three broomsticks. Ooh, scandalous. Now let's get some butterbeer. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Look how that guy's just staring them down. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh. I guess they found him. How timely. Yeah, she's gonna take him down. Was that I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Oh wow, she showed them. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Oh, we got the whole group to defend I us. Said, my friend is busy. Yeah, you show him there, Serona. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Thanks to everyone else for defending me. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Dude what doesn't even know what he got into. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Like he literally just found out he's like a Rando wizard recently and now he suddenly got a bunch of enemies. Me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. Yes, perhaps on best I note, do it later. I think we should head back to the castle. All right. Well, thanks to all you people for, uh, you know, defending me. Can I say thank you to her? I guess not. Alright. Bye, everyone. And it's nighttime already. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. You must return to your common room for the night. Accept the map. Um, all right. So where's the Ravenclaw common room exactly? It's like Togwarts. That one was jumping. Ravenclaw common room, there we go. I guess we're just gonna ditch Sebastian so we can go back with the uh, Slytherins. And now we're venturing back to Hogwarts. I'd have to say, uh, I have to say this whole plot line is getting a little interesting with the whole trolls and the evil goblin getting that, what was it, Rockwood to, uh, you know, try to essentially take down our guy, but then the whole three broomsticks, you know, club confronted him. I'm liking how the story is developing. It's better than I thought it would be. And now we're back to the Ravenclaw common room. Repair <laughs> Seeing if there's anything in here that need repairing, but let's uh, Revelio this room. Oh, there's an owl there. Revelio. Can I? T I'll read. You've received an owl post. Cool. I was about to get the mail from that owl, but I guess that showed up. Oh, 
Why does it send that? Why does it just go find him? I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Cool. Is that it? Okay, I guess we're gonna go see Professor Fig. Anything else? Nope, just back. Alright, thank you, Owl. All right, I'm gonna use the flu flame. See if there's anyone in the common room to talk to. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. That one girl is just like sitting there. Is she crying? Or no, she's just kind of uncomfortably sitting there. I do kind of want to check out this common room a little more. See if there's anything up there. Um. Oh, those things are blocking me going downstairs again. <laughs> oh, just another, like, common... I guess common room. These desks are really fancy. Yeah, hey, Ravenclaw's got the best common room. It's nice and, uh, open. It's great color, because Ravenclaw's are the best. I'm saying it. Oh, there's more up here, even. Let's just see what's up here. Oh, I can't go there because it's a level 2 lock. So, eventually I'll be able to access... Or level 1 lock, I should say. Eventually I'll be able to access even more of the common room, but... Oh, there's that ghost from uh, the last movie. The Grey Lady or whatever. Can I talk to her? I guess not. Alright, I'm going to use the flu flames to get to Professor Fig. Um... I think I'm right by one. Looks like he's over here. The astronomy wing is where I'm going, I guess. The charms classroom. So, uh, what I'm thinking I'm getting with these flu flames, which I've probably already kind of elaborated on, but it seems like you have to go to one, which is where that Ignatia person or statue thing talks to you. Once you get near one, you can load the map and just whisk off to any of the ones you've already unlocked. That's kind of what it seems. So let's go see what Professor yeah, Fig discovered. And you also went on to do the exact same thing. Oh, scandalous. I don't think Black would mind someone telling on someone. Seems it be his cup of tea. Well, I'd appreciate it not happening again. I won't oh. tell anyone again. Someone's in trouble. Okay, so he's over here, but I have to, like, go down or something. Alright, what's this here? Oh, maybe I can get more money from here. Oh, I got 50 more coins or galleons, whatever they're called. Yeah, Albert Boot. And Basil Flack. Alright, let's find Professor Fig. Rebellion. So what am I doing with this thing, though? This thing seems to be, uh... Repairer. Oh, there we go. I saw this thing lighting up, so I guess I got a field guide page. I'm gonna... Whoops, I didn't mean to go into that. I'm gonna try to see, like, if I can select, like, so it directs me more where I'm going to find, uh, Professor Fig. Alright, uh, yep, track quest. Okay, so and hopefully this will direct me a little bit better. Oh, no, I have to go down, it looks like. So down... There's some there's the flu flame thing. You can't so. imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. I mean, you can just apparate everywhere, but yes, it was so inconvenient. Um so I got to go around this way it looks like. So this looks like the defense against the dark arts room. He may be uh, 
Maybe he's talking with Professor, what was that, Hecate? Um, because this definitely is that. I remember this from the... Primarily the second one with, uh, this is like the podium that Lockhart stood on. This is really awesome that they have it, like, in this detail. Um, alright, I'll continue with the mission. I was gonna wait, so is he gonna come in with Professor Hecate? Oh, he's just chilling in the room, I guess. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Uh, I'm going to ask about the goblins at Gringotts. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. All right, so I guess they want the locket. Um, let's go there. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Hmm. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. Not the Marauder's map? It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. So how does our guy know that, but then Professor see Fig didn't see like that going on right there? I suspected you would see something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm. Oh, no way, because he can see the ancient magic, so that's it. As well, but if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But, sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. It's Hogwarts. Perhaps Everything's we dangerous. Are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Again, I'll you're let in Professor like. Hecate known to expect you. Again, you're in a school with like the most, the best, you know, witches and wizards, and yet, you know, they can't just get people to defend it. You know, they have to send this, you know. Essentially pretty, like, brand new magic, or wizard, whatever you call him. This brand new wizard, that's what I'm trying to say, to uh, go fight for this thing, and yet you can't just have these, like, great, knowledgeable witches and wizards do it yourself. Where's that page I'm looking at? Oh, it's right there. Um, Professor Fig. Uh, an inconvenient arrival of a new student. Oh, this is, uh... Him getting the instructions to follow our guy there. Um, Rebellio. Trying to see if there's any of these chests around. I keep saying they're nearby, but oh well. Let's go talk to Professor Hecate. How far is Professor Hecate? Let's take a look. Um, I'm not quite sure where Professor Hecate is, because this is saying you need to reach level 3. You must learn the fire-making charm. Um, Alright, I'm going to follow this and see where it winds up taking me. This Hogwarts definitely seems even, like, way bigger than it was in the movies, and it looked pretty huge in the movies. Like, th I'm glad there's this map, because I honestly would have no idea where I'm going without having these dots. What's 
going on there? Let's just keep our heads about this. Oh, is that the same, uh, those ghosts that were, like, fighting before? Um... Repairer. I saw that when they did the explanation of repair out, but... I guess it doesn't do anything. Might some kind soul help me? Alright, let's help Zenobia see what she wants. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. That sounds overly dramatic. Uh, why does everyone hate her? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no talent moon mind. A moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Sounds awful. I've never played with them. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose. Which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit. That sounds like a terrible game, Zenobia. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. I mean, I still play her games with you, so... Have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all Oh, I get to use Accio. <laughs> I'd have done the same. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation, and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Fifth year who just learned magic. You don't have any friends. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Kind of feel bad for her, because it seems like, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't too, uh, you know, too big of fans of her, but I guess I'll find her gobstones or whatever. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Mm. Revelio. So where are the gobstones? I'm just gonna see Accio here. Accio. I guess not. I heard something shimming over here. Revelio. The Wyvern Fountain. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of uh, regretting accepting this mission just because. All right, just because uh, I don't really want to find Zenobia's things. What's that over? Oh, there's that statue that. Uh, what's it? Uh, Professor Ronan Repair. told me to fix. Oh, I see on the map it's pointing out where they are. So, uh, I'm assuming that's somewhere over there. Um. I thought that's up that on the map where it's got those point things, but uh I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Levioso. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta keep an eye on high places around the school. Alright, just waiting for this to load so I can go in, because I think I see on the map those dot things. So... I know it's... Accio. I saw one of those... Okay, I'm kind of confused where I'm trying to go with this. Um, let's go back outside, I guess. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, cool. That's it. I there. hardly see what all the fuss is about. Hope it doesn't spray me with a liquid for losing, because apparently that's my fault for being not good, according to her. Yeah, I feel a little bad for her, but at the same time, if you obsess with a game that makes people smell, I can see why they probably don't want to play with you too often. 
Not that I condone bullying in any sense, but, uh... You know, maybe play games that don't attack people like that. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, there we go. Uh, Accio. Accio. Oh, no, I have to go up more. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. That's only like the third time you've said that. So where are they? Um, not really sure where Rebellion. I'm looking. Oh, there we go. Right up in the chandelier. Yeah. Alright, back what out this way. Now? That's not your business, Ignatia. Alright, there's a few around here, it looks like, maybe. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There's one. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, back out this way, I guess. Three more to go, and then I'm not gonna help Zenobia anymore. If she wants to spray people with a bad-smelling thing, then that's on her. Um, I guess I go up here. Hopefully I get- I'm sure I get, like, points or something for, uh, helping her out here. And just waiting for this to load. There we go. Alright, where are they gonna hide these up here? What's this, like the astronomy tower? Rebellion. Oh, something over on the other side of there. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, it's another chest. Cool. Got some more, uh, coins. I can just go around and steal them, pretty much. Ooh, scandalous. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Uh, that's the fourth time you've said that. Rebellion. Right, let's, there we go. Accio. All right, next one. Let's uh, Accio or Levio for this. Collect another field guide. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it just like appears. Revelio. Man, people really went out of their way just to hide. What's her name's, uh, gobstones? Um, sounds like one's not in there. So it looks like one of them's around here, so, uh... Or maybe it's trying to tell me to go up a little more. I'm a bit confused about this map. This is, uh, like I said, this is a lot of effort just to hide, uh... Zenobia's things. There we go. Accio. Do I have to go up more? Oh, okay. I don't think this is the one I'm going after right now. I think it's just, uh... Why can't I accio that? I see it up there. 
Or maybe it's on top of it. I think the other one's down here somewhere. That's what it looks like it's trying to tell me. Okay, I have to go through... Oh, there we go. That's how we get up there. All these, like, interwinding stairways. It's a giant... I better keep an eye on high places around this the thing school for Zenobia's gobstones. I was gonna say, that's a... <laughs> what's that, like, troll armor? Or giant armor? How nice to see you, my young friend. Accio! Revelio! There was one of those right over here. There we go. Alright, so, um... The other gobstone thing's up here somewhere. I better keep an eye on high- oh, there we go. I better keep an eye on high places. Alright, one more. Which I'm gonna guess is somewhere over here. Rebellion. I see a lot of, like, treasure chests up there. Is that it up there? I'm not really sure. My little brother sends me letters chock full of questions about Hogwarts. Merlin help us when he starts here next year. That's very great to know there. The is away from the rest of the school. Quite the aroma in there. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Okay, so it is in here somewhere, but um, maybe it's in the chandelier. Rebellion. I'm a little lost on where I'm trying to get that, but Are there more. Maybe there's more like upstairs. If there is an upstairs. Okay, it's telling me to go back in here. Maybe it's out here somewhere. That's kind of what I'm guessing. Nope, it's definitely in there. It's telling I'd me... better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. It's only been six times you've said that now, I think. Alright, it's somewhere in this room. Oh, the Herbology Award. Mirabelle Garlic. Oh, she's like... I saw some from some videos when I was uh, kind of watching a few YouTube videos before I got the game, and I'm pretty sure she's the Herbology Professor. Oh, there it is, up there. That's cool. the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Maybe you should go hide them in other places so people don't smell bad. I'm going to sprint through here. I'm going to rush to get back to Zenobia. Oh, I don't want to go up. There we go. Run! Run! Zenobia's waiting! You're her hero! Wait, something... I just want to see what that was. Roll. I'm sure that's something we'll figure out later. Um... It's just kind of, like, rolling and putting weird symbols, that's about it. Where's Zenobia? We need to find her. Can we go through here? That's what that door gets for waiting. Alright, I'm just waiting to go through here. There we go.
All right. Jeez, why is Zenobia so far away? Um, all right, down here. Um... Oh, this is that room where I found her. But I've got to search for high places around the school. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Indeed I did, Zenobia. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well... Yeah, <clears throat> Zenobia. I have my gobstones back. Yeah, I'll give it back to her. I'm not gonna be that mean. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Terrible idea. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Gobs of gobstones. Alright, not gonna lie, I really don't think I want to help out Zenobia anymore. She seems, uh, for lack of better words, she seems pretty annoying. But, um, I think that's gonna end it for this video. Uh, I appreciate you guys sticking with me on this, and, uh, actually, let me just get away from this music. <laughs> I'm just going to go away here a bit. All right. As I was saying, I think that's going to end it for this video. Um, really, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me on this. And uh, I'm going to be continuing my gameplay with some upcoming videos. So thanks again, and you guys have a great rest of your day.